the thing with Ebola is the symptoms are like every other thing in the beginning. There's no it's nothing special that jumps out that says this is Ebola versus malaria versus typhoid versus rickettsia. It's 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 all looks versus the same. Flu. Versus flu, right? Fevers, aches and pains, feeling unwell, malaise, just blah. And it can go on like that for a few days and then it starts to get worse with your blood pressure dropping, etc. But you would pick it up long before you ever got to the more se serious uh, symptoms. So the fever is by far the early warning detection. Yes, system, that's right. Okay. As it is with malaria and everything else, which is the problem, right? When you develop symptoms, you already have increasing viral titers in your blood, so theoretically you're infectious from the time your symptoms started. Um, it looks like the viral titers and symptoms are very closely linked with Ebola virus, as opposed to some other viruses where you could be infectious before the onset of symptoms, like chickenpox is the best example, where you can be infectious for two days before you get a rash.